Hi, I'm Monica. I'm a licensed and registered dietitian, and this is Pantry Table Talk Summer Series, where we're going to talk about nutrition tips and tricks on staying healthy on a budget. Um, so, the information in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. For your special case, please consult your doctor and or your registered dietitian. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. This is live, so I won't be able to answer them while we're on live, but I will follow up on the Facebook and YouTube channel. And wait till the end of the cooking demo to hear information about our open arms program here at Bastrop County Emergency Food Pantry. So today what we're going to be talking about is zucchini noodles. Here at the pantry, clients receive pre-packaged zucchini noodles made already for you. Zucchini is packed with vitamin A that's good for eye health and also to maintain a healthy immune system. And let's face it, we're all thinking about our immunity right now. Um, it also is packed with antioxidants. In general, antioxidants help repair the cells in the body. The antioxidants found in zucchini help the eyes, the heart, the skin, and is also might reduce the, the risk of cancers like prostate cancer. If you are worried about your blood sugar levels, it's a good substitute for traditional spaghetti noodles as well. Um, if you are a parent and you want to make a dinner and event, you can get a zucchini spiral maker almost anywhere. Uh, I was checking on Amazon, I sell them anywhere between 10 to $25. So today, it's a little more steps for the recipe, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I have chicken breast on the stove already. That's gonna be our protein added to the zucchini noodles for a well-rounded meal. You can also add low-fat cheese for a protein source. I also have spaghetti sauce from a can. And those of you who like to add flavor to spaghetti sauce. Um, you can do red pepper flakes, you can do red wine, you can do garlic, or you can add some dried Italian herbs as well. And for those of you watching that have your favorite flavor that you like to add, go ahead and leave that in the comments and help other people out. Or you can also add in the comments your favorite spaghetti brand or flavor. This is really, really simple. Uh, with the prep, and that's mainly boiling the water and boiling the chicken. It's, you can add about 12 minutes to this. It takes about three minutes to saute the spaghetti noodle, I mean the zucchini noodles. And I have a skillet going right over here. You just add a little bit of olive oil. And we'll just spread this around. And hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. I'm going to go ahead and add the whole thing. And the instructions are the same if you are doing it by hand. You just add a little bit of olive oil and cook for three to four minutes. And while I'm doing this, I'll give you some ideas for shredding chicken. Um, if you have issues with hand or wrist pain, you can use a hand mixer to shred chicken. It's not perfect, <laughs> but you can do it. The trick is to get the chicken right out of the stove, out of the boiling water, and it's really hot, and then cut it into chunks. And the chunks are really, the bigger ones are more stubborn than the others. So you may have to apply a little pressure. I forgot my hand blender. I was going to bring the hand blender. And I like it, even though they're a little more expensive, because they're so versatile. You can use a hand blender to shred chicken. You can use it to make smoothies. You can use it like you would a food processor to make pico de gallo. So I'll let that go. And I'm going to check on my chicken. Start with a smaller piece first. I'm actually going to cut this bigger piece smaller pieces 
and put it back in to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. This increases the surface area for faster cooking. Actually, it looks pretty good. So I put this in the boiling water. I added a little salt. Oop, maybe I should be in frame, right? Um, add a little salt. And it was about 12 minutes. And I'm just using two forks to shred the chicken. There are fancier utensils out there, but this is just working fine. And I'm keeping an eye on the zucchini noodles. And I would actually recommend maybe a little less than 12 minutes, maybe closer to nine minutes because it's a little rubbery. And what I'm doing is I'm going with the grain to shred it and it's shredding really easily. Stop and mix my zucchini noodles for a little bit. So these look great and they smell great too. So I'm going to turn this off. And finish with the chicken. other spices too to the chicken or the zucchini noodles, um, powdered onion or garlic powder is a good choice, some salt and pepper, and I used a little under a pound of chicken breast, and again you can use other protein sources. You know, this is actually first time I try this, and I'm not doing a bad job, so I think if I can do it, anybody can do it. And as I mentioned, you can use a hand mixer or a hand blender. If anybody has used anything else and would like to recommend that in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated. All right, so not perfect <laughs> but it's getting there and I will show you what I'm doing so here here's the chicken I don't know if I can show you so this is going with the grain here and just pulling apart like so now one of my jobs in college was working for macaroni grill and what they like to do is mix the noodles and the sauce in the same pot so i am going to attempt to do something similar with another pot let me see how am i going to do this going to put use this to mix it and then you can see the chicken and if there's a little chicken in there it's not a big deal and the consistency is like spaghetti traditional spaghetti noodles so you're not really giving up that authentic feel of a spaghetti noodle by switching out with zucchini noodles. So I have my zucchini noodles and one package of zucchini is about one serving. What I'm doing today is really basic. So you can add more to this. You can add cheese to it for presentation. And the smell, it's 
smells like traditional spaghetti. So I am going to use my point. And again, very basic recipe here with just a few ingredients. The zucchini noodles, the chicken, and the spaghetti sauce. And I'm just going to add some chicken in here for the protein source. May you have dinner in less than 20 minutes from start to finish. Again, you can put shredded cheese on top. You can add some parsley just for presentation. And that concludes our cooking demo today. I would like to take a few minutes to talk about our open arms program here at the Bastrop County Emergency Food Pantry. It's for individuals under, well, 55 and under who are disabled and or have chronic illnesses. And once a month, they get a food package and that's the last Thursday of every month. And uh, the pantry partners with area retailers to provide fresh breads, fresh fruits and vegetables, baked goods and meats. In addition to that monthly food package, people who are participating in the Open Arms program can also come in on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for supplemental meals items. And that is no appointment necessary, first come, first serve, and the times are 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And as always, uh, Thank you for joining us today. Show us your support by liking our page and sharing it with friends and family. And I'll see you next week.